So this is the algorithm for zero one nine check problem, and uh, you can see uh, the algorithm is taking the input, uh, the current item and the current profit and current item. Okay, and it is a regressive algorithm. Okay, so initially we will call knapsack of one zero zero. So one is the current item, zero is the current weight and the current profit. Both are initially zero. Okay. And here we will check whether the adding the weight of this item number one to current weight will be less than or equal to knapsack capacity. Okay, so if you check uh, the uh, weight of item number one is two, and uh, if you add it, its uh, value will be less than or equal to sixteen. Okay, so I will set uh, y of k is equal to one. Okay, here I will use uh, two arrays, uh, x and y. Okay, in x array I will store the final result, and in the array y I will store the intermediate result. Okay, so This item can be added because uh, if I add the weight of this item to current weight, it is less than the size of the uh, knapsack. Okay, so I will add this item and I will set a y y of k is equal to one. Okay, and if I I check whether I I uh, checked or I observed all the item or not. Okay, if it is less than it, then I will call the next item. Okay, knapsack of k plus one, and I will increase the current profit and the current weight. Okay, so from knapsack of one double zero. I will call sack of two forty two. Okay, forty is the profit of first item and the two is the weight of second item. Okay, again, I will add the uh, weight of second item to the current weight. Okay, so now current weight is two and weight of second item is five. So two plus five is seven, which is less than n. So I will set a y of second item as one. So I will set a y of k as one. Okay, again. From there, uh, using this line, I will call knapsack of three comma seventy comma seven. Okay, that is I added the profit and weight amount second item to the current weight and the current profit. Okay, and uh, during this call, you can see if I added the third item, that is uh, my current weight is seven, and if I add the weight of third item, that is ten, to the current weight. Uh, it will not be less than n, so we will not uh, go into this if condition. We will go back to the next statement. That is the next if. Okay, here we are using the bound function. We will check whether we will get a, a better profit than the final profit. Currently, initially the final profit is zero. Okay, so using the bound function, I will call bound of seventy is the current profit and seven uh, is the current weight and k is the current item. Okay, and I I will call the bound function. Okay, the bound function. We'll check from from the next item. That is the fourth item. If, so uh, I can add the fourth item completely, okay? Because uh, if I add the fourth item, my total weight will be less than sixteen. So I will add the fourth item completely, okay? If C is less than M, okay? If uh, C is not less than M, that is, if I cannot add that item completely, then I will add a fraction of that item that uh, we have seen like in the a uh, fraction knapsack problem, okay? So I will compute that profit, okay? And return that to profit. Okay, so here the profit will be computed will be eighteen and eighteen will be returned here. So I will check whether eighty is greater than FP. So initially FP is zero, so eighty is greater than FP. So I will set the value of K is equal to zero. That is, I will set the third item to zero. Okay, then uh, since K is less than n because I am at the third item, I will call knapsack of from this procedure. I will call knapsack of four seventy seven. Okay, that is current profit and current weight. Okay, here since uh, when reach here, uh, it will be the total weight will be less than or equal to m, and I will set the value of k that is value of fourth item to one, and uh, since k is not less than n, k is equal to n, so we will not again call the algorithm recursively from this call. Okay, and since uh, CP plus uh, profit of current profit plus profit of k is greater than FP final profit. And the k is equal to n. We will set the final profit and the final weight here. Okay, and we will copy everything to the x array. That is one one zero one is copied to the x array. Okay, and this call will be returned back to here. Okay, and this will return back to here. Okay, again uh, from here, that is a call from the, uh, this line. Okay, knapsack of two forty two. Okay, again we will go to the if part and check the bound value. And the bound value returned is ninety eight, so it will call knapsack of three four. So it will set this to the second item to zero. That is uh, every 
block will have its own y value and also x value okay and the final y value and x value of knapsack of this block will be considered as the final result okay so again uh, this process will repeat 340 that is second data i will set 0 and the third data i will set 1 and also fourth data i will set 0 okay so this will repeat until we get the final answer that is here also the regressive call will return and uh, we will check whether uh, setting the first item to zero will get a better profit or not we will not the get that better profit so we will that that will be checked here okay so final result will be one zero one zero okay i recommend you to go to the every step so that you will understand the algorithm very clearly